You know it's really close to the holidays when A, my workbench is clean, and B, I'm taking advantage of some deals I'm finding online. In this case, this brand new 2023 Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet with like three gig of RAM and 32 gig of internal memory, the expandable memory with the micro SD card. I got this thing for like $33.99 with trade-in. Let me explain how I did that. So first of all, this was my first Amazon Fire tablet. It's an HD 10, I think they called it that. It's a 2018 model. And I bought it for personal use. I thought, hey, this would be really cool to, I don't know, play Sirius XM or listen to tunes on the porch, watch my cable app, or maybe watch Amazon Prime movies on. It was pretty inexpensive. I think I paid a little less than $100 for it. I bought it, and then I shortly after that discovered that with a small hack, which I won't get into in this video, you can Google this if you want to, it's very easy to take these Fire tablets and put the Google Play Store on them so you can download all kinds of stuff that you wouldn't be able to download just with the Amazon uh, App Store. So I did that and I added the program DJ on it, which I use for all of my ceremonies. Now it worked pretty good, but it was a little slow on the boot up. So when a new version came out in 2020, I jumped on it and it was significantly faster, brighter, the whole bit. And I used this one for gigs and kind of retired this one. But then I still wanted one for home, right? I wanted one that I could just use when I'm watching TV or whatever. So I got another one. Now the real reason I got this 2021 model right here is so I could watch my cable app while I took a bath. Yeah, decadent, right? I can watch TV and take a bath at the same time. Put the sucker on the back of my toilet. This became... My personal tablet that I used at home, this became my gigging tablet. I know it's got a lot of apps on it, but it's the gigging tablet. And this one right here has the micro SD card in it of like 128 gigs, so I can put a lot of tunes on it and stuff. I've got DJ from Algorithm on here. I can open it up here. You can see it. I got it on all the tablets, but I have it on this one. This is the one I am primarily using for gigging, and it works great. Very durable and, uh, yeah, fast, no problem. Then I was looking to see what the IP ratings were on these tablets. And by accident, the other day, I found an ad for this brand new 2023 Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet that came out, I don't know, last month. And I saw it when it came out. I thought, I don't really need another tablet. These work fine, right? But here's the deal. It's supposed to be $139 on sale for $78. Bucks. But if you have a trade-in, They'll give you 20% off of that sale price. I thought, well, hey, I've got this one laying around that I'm not using anymore. I can't even find the charger for it half the time. It's a pain in the butt. It's slow. Yeah, why don't I trade it in? I'll have a nice tablet for like 60 bucks. Then I find out when I click on this link, I'm going to get an additional $30 gift card from Amazon. So all in. It was $33.99 before tax for this brand new Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet. And it's 25% faster than my newest tablet. And it's a few grams lighter and you can feel it. It's got a nicer camera on the front of it too. So if you are at all interested in Fire tablets, this might be a good opportunity to jump into one. If you've got an old Fire tablet, you can go on Amazon, you can check this out, you can see what they're gonna give you for trade for your tablet. Now, when I clicked on the link, it told me it was only gonna give me 20 bucks for this tablet. Well, that's still better than nothing, right? Then it said it was gonna send an email with a redemption coupon on it. I clicked on that and it gave me the full $30. So $30 plus 20%, there you go. I actually ordered this with a new case. So all in with tax and everything, I think it was 53 something. Still a great deal. So anyway, that's the big deal that I found on Amazon. I didn't need it, but come on. I can upgrade this tablet I'm not using at all for $33.99. Of course I'm going to do it. So now I have a tablet for hanging out in the living room. I got a tablet for gigging. 
and I still got my bathroom tablet to watch TV on. So that's it. Just wanted to share this with you. There's nothing in it for me. There's no links for you to click or anything like that. This is a this week only thing, I'm sure, for the Black Friday week they are having at Amazon for their sales. So if you're interested, check it out. If you want to know how to put the Google Play Store onto a Fire Tablet, I suggest that you go on YouTube and you type in some keywords like Amazon Fire Tablet Google Play Store. You're going to see all kinds of tutorial videos on how to do it. It's basically you download four links and then you install those things in order, reboot your tablet, and voila, you got it. So anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.